Hey everyone, it's Melissa here to plan in my classic happy planner. So this week for the Dash of Plans Color August 2019 challenge, I'm actually going to be using these stickers and um, this uh, kind of suite of stickers in the color story to kind of bring in a magical vibe. I think I'm going to be using this sticker that says she's magic that one and this sticker as well that says magic is something you make i love that so i'm going to put one of them on either side um, but first let me just get started i'm going to be putting one of these stickers right along here i kind of like having them in the weekend just because i feel like they make sense there for me to either journal how the weekend went or to just kind of talk about something big that I need to get done on the weekend. I had it here last time, so I think for a change I'm going to stick it down here. So usually what I like to do before I get started in planning, uh, planning out this video is I'll just have like in my mind a couple of sticker choices that I want to make and then I can... Um, oh my gosh, look at how pretty this massive one is. I think I'm going to use it. Um, so I'll have a couple of choices as to what I want to make for stickers and then I can just go ahead and get started. So um, what I was thinking, I didn't know how I felt about this. I was still kind of thinking about it was to uh, mix the rose gold and the yellow gold. So there's this one is primarily rose gold and then this one's yellow gold. And I was going to stick a couple of um, unicorns, one here and one here. And then just to make sure that the magic would be on every side, I will add this big one. Yeah. This really big one over here. Um, I don't know how I'm going to feel about all of the lines, but I'm just going to have it against as close as I can. And... That way the lines won't look too bad. Yeah, I don't mind that too much that's going through its little legs. And then I am going to stick, I'm thinking math stickers, maybe one of those. But first I'm, I want to cover up that white space with maybe some sort of banner. So I'm going to use this one just because this is Magical Weekend. Um, but first I think I'm going to put one of these stickers on. And that way I can just layer the other one on top. I think I'm going to use this tall one. And then I'll just have it so that its legs are kind of going into here. That way I can layer it on top with that magical weekend banner. And then I'm going to um, make him have a little reindeer friend. Or sorry, <laughs> reindeer. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Unicorn friend. So I'm going to stick another unicorn beside it. One of the shorter ones. <laughs> I can't even believe I said reindeer. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay. And I'm just going to have them kind of facing away from each other. So... Um, for the most part, the lines through the pictures don't really bother me. I just try not to make it super obtrusive, and I can kind of deal with that. And then I'll put this guy right over here, but I think I'll layer a little bit of its hooves. And I'm going to... So it's going to be a lot of the word magical. Let's see if I put in all of it so I'm going to put in this one just because I really like it she's magic that one I don't know how many spaces this is going to take so I think it might be best that I stick it here actually just because that's going to take up definitely more than one square or I could just stick it right up against I think I'm going to do that so in this instance, I'm going to try to just straighten it out so that the She's Magic is kind of straight and then this line over here is straight down. Okay. 
And I don't know if I'm going to add any yellow gold. I'm really liking all of the rose gold so far. So let's see. So I kind of just want to add some little diamonds. Um, just to kind of tie in this theme. And then what I've usually done is I will put a box sticker on every single row. This already counts as this one. So I just need one for the top and then the bottom. So I think I'm going to stick one here and then stick one over there or here and there. I think these two will be good spots. So since there's a magic here, I can probably put another, I don't need to add that other uh, quote that says magic. So I can just put some sort of box sticker up there. I don't want to be too overkill with the magic theme. But I'm still wondering whether or not I want to use rose gold, so I kind of don't want to use that one because of it. And the other thing that I didn't really like about the magical sticker that's in here is that it kind of mentioned it had that ocean theme and I didn't really want to go for that, so that's something I'm thinking about as well. And just to kind of tie in these colors, I'm going to use this one. And I'm just going to have that over here. So I'll just stagger it a bit and then have it like that. And I'm going to keep adding some more of these gems. This time I can stick some of the purple ones. I'll stick a purple one here. So cute. So one more on the bottom and then that will be here. And that one I'm going to stick some sort of quote. So just to kind of keep going with this gem theme, I'm going to add this one right here. Um, I kind of want to layer a sticker underneath it. I'm just trying to figure out which one. So I feel like I could lose that one just because <laughs> I have another very similar sticker here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I will use, but what I don't like is I'd be layering two white stickers on top of each other and I don't think that's going to look very nice. So let's just see. I mean, I could potentially use an empty box sticker, but I feel bad because I am a hoarder and I don't want to layer it on top of these really pretty colorful box type stickers like these ones. I just don't want to layer it on top of that. So let's see what other options I have. So I think I'm just going to go for it and sacrifice one of these stickers. And I think I'm going to sacrifice one of these just because I feel like there's at least two of them. I'm just trying to figure out which one. And I don't really like the ones that have grid as much. So I think that's going to be the deciding factor. I'll put this one. Let me just put this guy aside for one sec. I'm going to put this one here, and then I will layer the other one on top. And I will take this guy, make sure that I have that showing. I'm really after that border. And I'm going to put some sort of header there that says remember. I like this one. It says read this. And it says you're straight up magic. And it kind of has the three colors that I'm going for. Now for the most part, I am pretty much done. Um, yeah, I'm happy here. Now I'm just going to kind of embellish just a little bit by adding a couple of checklists and um, some headings. And then yeah, I'm done. So I think I'm going to use a couple of these. So last week, or sorry, this week I used a checklist here. So because of that, I think I'll put one here and here. I use a pink one on this side. So this week I have a strata meeting on Tuesday and then on Sunday I'm going to be meeting up with some friends 
Um, I'm actually going to be a bridesmaid next year, so it's going to be the first time I'm going to see all of the bridesmaids, and I have a feeling we're going to be given our assigned tasks <laughs> for everything we're going to have to do for the wedding, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> Um, now I know I have a meeting there, so I'm, I'm thinking of sticking one of these box stickers right there. One of these guys. Um, I'm thinking that turquoise one. And I'm just going to layer a box sticker, or sorry, a heading on top of this too. I love these. I'm going to put... Wander Seeker and just for good measure. Oh, I want to put a purple one, but it has that gold foil, and I haven't done that yet, so I think I won't. And then now it's kind of like the part where I have to add stickers pretty much one by one because I feel like I'm one sticker away from just hating the spread. So, first, I'm going to add um, I kind of want to have a little gemstone right here. I think I'm going to go for the rose gold ones. Actually, I'm gonna, I want to do the colored. I think I will do a turquoise one, but just one of the smaller ones. Okay. So I kind of want to do just a little bit more layering. So I want to take one of these stickers. I think I'm going to go for the pink. And I'm going to add a sticker on top of it, um, a circle sticker. So I'm just going to have this higher up and I'll just tuck it under Thursday. Then I'm going to take a circle sticker and layer that on top. So I'm going to do a little something here. I'm going to take this shaded, um, uh, label sticker and then I'm going to layer it underneath here but I'm gonna make sure to just that I can cover up that gold foil with this that way um, I can kind of stick with the foil arrangement which I don't really think matters but I'm just going to keep going with it anyway, and then I'm going to stick a couple of little flags here. So, a pink one, and one of these here, and okay, there's no heading here, there's no heading there, so that's kind of open and same with these. So I think that I can just stop here, there's no circle sticker on this side which I like for there to be some sort of balance. So let me just take one look again, and then perhaps I can put a circle sticker here or here. I think I'm leaning towards there. So I'm gonna use this purple and I'm gonna put Brave Spirit here. I'm gonna try to get it straight on. And then I saw some of these arrows. So I think I'm just going to take one of these guys and then I'm just going to lead it coming out of there. And um, yeah, I'm liking this. It feels nice and balanced. So I ended up using this sticker book, this sticker book, and that is it. So this is the Dash of Plants Color August Challenge. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. If you like this video, I hope you'll click like. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them below. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it.